Hi all and welcome. In this video we are going to show you how to paint your ass of gun. This includes all the stuff you need, the preparation, of course the actual painting and as well giving your ass of gun some nice extra effects like some patterns and as well giving it a very cool worn look. So, you have bought yourselves an airsoft gun, which is cool, and you have added all sorts of tactical accessories to it, such as a sight, a flashlight, a pack box, you name it, but you still feel like you are missing something, a paint job. Well, I can tell you that you are in luck, because in this video we are going to show you how to paint your airsoft gun. Before even thinking of getting a spray can, we must make sure that there will be no paint getting into the delicate parts of your airsoft gun, such as the barrel group or the gearbox. First step, remove any accessories from your airsoft gun and then you want to grab some toilet paper and some tape because we're going to cover any openings in your airsoft gun. Let's start by removing the stock to gain access to the stock tube. The next step is removing the barrel group to make sure no paint gets in those spots. For that, you have to separate the upper from the lower receiver by removing a single bolt. There we go. Just slide out the inner barrel nice and easy and put everything back in place again. Make sure you are using enough tape. We don't want anything to get dirty on the inside. After the stuck tube, it is time to cover the motor plate, as they often have an air vent. For the magwell, cramp it full with toilet paper. Make sure every bit is covered. Next is the flash hider. Roll up some toilet paper and slide it into the end of the outer barrel. The ejection port is a bit tricky, as it has to be sealed completely while the dust cover can still be closed. And finally, to be safe, you want to tape the trigger port as well. So we have done the stock tube, motor plate, magwell, flash hider, ejection port and the trigger port. Now that your airsoft gun is fully prepared, let's start with the actual painting. Ideally, you would like to hang it from a construction for easy access, but of course you can as well lay it down on a flat surface. Just make sure that the paint is nice and dry before flipping it to the other side. When painting, do it outside or in a well-ventilated room. When painting inside, make sure that you're using a mouth cover. For this, we have chosen a paint from Fosco in the color Coyote to spray the body. So let's start painting. Make sure you are using short strokes from a distance of 20 up till 30 centimeters and keep those layers thin or else you will see the paint starting to drip. When painting around the openings, try not to spray directly into them, just to be safe. Ensure every bit has a nice layer of paint. While the paint on your gun is drying, you can start painting the accessories. Just like the paint job of your gun, you need to make sure that no parts that shouldn't get any paint on them are well covered, just like the glasswork and your flashlight or the connector of your pack box. So here are the accessories for my airsoft gun. Optics, pack box, foregrip, everything can be painted. Same rule apply when painting accessories. Keep a distance and apply a thin layer of paint in short strokes. So, now the paint is dry enough, we can start applying some cool effects with a darker paint. To have a cool pattern, I will be using a washing net to apply a very cool snake pattern to it. Apply the net firmly around the area you want to paint to get the best result. First, do some test sprays to see how the spray paint behaves. Spray in a fluid motion, without hesitation. And this is the result after applying two subtle strokes with the netting pattern. 
Decide first where you want to paint before spraying. Too much, let it dry and respray it with the base color again. Some small spots, again subtle. And you can apply this netting pattern to your accessories as well. Here you have a fancy looking flashlight. Now that everything is nicely painted, let's start destroying it. The magical ingredient in here is nail polish remover. Just make sure that you're getting the acetone free version of the nail polish remover to make sure that the polymer parts of your airsoft gun are not melting away. Before using any of the nail polish remover, ensure it has the desired effect by first testing it on a non-visible area, such as the stock tube. It does take some time and effort. What helps is keeping the cloth very moist and let it soak into the paint for a while before starting to polish. Try to figure out which areas would have been affected by intensive use and focus your efforts on those parts. Basically, it would be where you hold the gun and anything sticking out that would brush against objects while using it. Again, this can be applied to the accessories as well to give them the same worn look as your airsoft gun. Especially the mouth of the flash hider or suppressor should be well polished to simulate the results due to exposure to high temperatures, carbon, dirt and unburned powder. And there you have it, a painted airsoft gun that looks like it has seen many battles. Check that worn look. I hope you have all the information you need to give your airsoft gun a very cool paint job with a very very cool worn look. If you do have some questions or need additional information, just put your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for being awesome. Ghosts out.